The most amazing thing about Atlas for the Future is this sense of community it builds. We're here in the Professor Stewart Hall building. It's been a fascinating evening, a roller coaster of really different projects. Atlas of the Future has been working on culture futures for the last year, uncovering the most amazing stories of people and their work for a better future across all areas of culture and creativity. And tonight we heard from four incredible projects that really lit up the audience. And it's amazing thinking about where this whole project will go next. I think there's many reasons why uh, when I talk about Little Inventors people react very positively. There are great ideas that, that, that the children are coming up with. I did 19 workshops with, in primary schools asking children to come up with invention drawings. I showed my ideas and then that sort of set the mood. Um, a fun, playful atmosphere does help creativity. Oliver, he said, when well, he does a good thing, he has, uh, but he's on his own, he has no one to do a high five with. So he wanted a high five machine. The idea of taking children's ideas seriously is something that we can all um, appreciate. We know how that can give confidence to people. In Brazil today, but in the world, there are not many young people with great hope and with the confidence to be creative. I was invited to the Afro-Indigenous community of Cabello Circle in 2008 to learn democracy through the creation of community-based monumental sculptures. It was great that the people here tonight could see young people who are the most excluded in the Amazon among the most exclusive in the world, as educators, as artists, as organisers, as literacy workers. Four to five years ago, I began a project in Brazil called Somos Brazil, which searched for national identity in Brazil through a series of a hundred nominated individuals being photographed, high quality portraits, then having their oral histories recorded and then mounting it to an image activated app that when you swipe your device over the person's portrait they actually get a voice in the piece and they begin to talk back to you and give you a sense of who they are, where they belong, what they think is important. And then I mapped all that work together with ancestral DNA. At the heart of everybody's work is this incredible focus on the building of community across such different projects and in such different ways, but building community through creative endeavor. Materium is very much a part of this new story of design. And what we're doing is we're taking open source culture and uh, emerging technologies to really transition the way we make materials. These are just a few of the materials that we're making. They span plastic, ceramic, um, composites for manufacturing and construction and more and more. And I just want to show this because I feel like it's really a product of cultural and creative um, collective development. I am leaving totally revived and excited knowing that there are so many incredible projects happening all around this world. The British Council encourages friendly knowledge and exchange um, connecting the UK with the world. You know, the one thing we're seeing from Culture Future is that when people connect and talk, incredible things can happen. I think each and every member of the panel tonight definitely deserves a going to high five and see. Today we were reflecting on how the conditions that we're seeing around the world right now are just ripe for these kinds of dialogues to be happening because change needs to happen and for the first time people are looking for solutions at a policy level, institutional and individual level and after coming out of that room and hearing such inspiring stories of change it feels like that appetite can be met by these kinds of programmes.